right. Hey guys. Um, I had a few people tell me that they would have liked to have seen the finished product here. So that is actually what I'm going to do right now. Um, I already, in another video, I already cleaned out the inner edge of this. Um, I haven't gone back through and wiped the paint out yet, um, but I will do that um, at some point, probably more toward the end, because I am going to give this another layer of epoxy still. So I'm going to have to, once again, um, go back in and clean the rim of this cup after that second layer of epoxy as well. So. Um, what I am going to do right now is I cut a few things out with my Cricut to put on this cup. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to start off with is my wording here. I cut this out. It says, why blend in when you were born to stand out? And this is going to be the main saying or quote kind of on my cup. Um, what I did is when I... When I made this, I actually kind of purposely, I don't know if you can see, but it kind of goes upward like that. This here is the back where it goes higher, and this here is the front where it goes a little bit lower. So I wanna kind of look at that, take that into consideration, and figure out where I wanna place. I wanna place my wording on the side where the glitter's a little bit lower. And a lot of times, to kind of help measure this, I put my lid on. So I'm going to put my lid on, and the little lip here on the lid, oops, the little lip here on the lid is going to go directly in the back. You know what, I'm going to do it the opposite way. I'm going to put the little hole on the back because I won't be able to see it very well from the front if I do it the other way. So that I can kind of see the highest point that it comes up to there. Okay, good. So now, when I lay this down, I can see that the middle of my front should be pretty even with this lip here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a lip here now, okay? So that'll kind of help me to even this out a little bit when I am putting my lettering on the cup. Okay, so now what I do is I take some transfer paper and I cut a piece of the transfer paper out. It's just about the same size as my wording. It's just a clear, clear paper and I peel it off. And then I lay it right on top of my saying. And now, uh-oh, I forgot one tool. One of my Cricut tools. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Uh -huh. um, I'm gonna take this little scraper and I just kind of push, uh oh you can't see that. I just kind of push this transfer paper onto it really well. You want every little bit of that to stick, and especially with a font, like this font has some really skinny parts. So I really want to make sure that I'm making it all stick to that transfer paper really well. <clears throat> if you don't have something like this, you can use the edge of a popsicle stick. I will sometimes even use the edge of my um, tweezers like that to scrape it down. Anything, you don't want it to be sharp. You don't want it to cut or like really scrape color off or anything. Um, but you want it, you know, to stick really well. And now we're just going to take this and slowly put, see, it's still not all coming off. So I'm gonna do that again, although to be honest, I don't know that I got that part very well. Okay. So now I'm going to slowly peel this off. Good. Now it's peeling off pretty good down there. Not so much on the top. Nope. Hold on. 
Now I will say this transfer paper is not my usual transfer paper that I would use. It is a transfer paper that I got free with something and I don't think it's quite as sticky as what I usually use, which I think is why I'm having this issue here. But it was free, so I thought I would give it a try. And I don't think I'll be buying it again. Okay, so I got that off. So now that I got that off, got it on the clear paper, and now I'm gonna lay this down. I know kind of where my middle is because I've got that lip and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it here to where I want my saying. I'm gonna try and make sure that it's straight, as straight as you can possibly get it. Perfect. And now once it's on, push it down really, really well And come on. then we will slowly pull off. Gotta be very careful with this one because this was a very delicate font. We'll slowly pull off um, the contact paper. So after you do this, if anything kind of got messed up or anything, you can always take, I always just kind of take my weeding device and go through and fix anything that might have gotten a little cockeyed. Most of it's really good, but this bee kind of pulled up. And then it wasn't quite how it should have been. That's better. Okay. So, there we go. Got our saying on there. Looks really nice with this glitter down here. And now I'm gonna do the fun stuff. I've got some peacock feathers that I made. So, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put this on my transfer paper. Typically, sometimes try and use the same transfer paper over again. Um, this transfer paper doesn't, like I said, doesn't seem to be the greatest. So I don't know that I'm going to be able to as well. But I'm going to try because I don't like to waste it. There's usually enough stickiness on it to last for several times. So now I'm going to place these. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to place the peacock feather. Now how I think I'm going to do this is I think I'm going to do this one going this way, kind of on the side here and sweeping around. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I could not be happier with that. And I like how I kind of blended it down. I, I put part of it down into 
the um, chunky glitter as well. Now for the other side, Lay this one here, <clears throat> and actually, I think that now that I've laid these where I want them, I see an empty spot because I wanted it to kind of be sporadic. I didn't want it to necessarily be like one's here, one's here, one's here. I wanted it to be kind of like this one's off to this side and this one's off to this side. And that's what I got. I kind of have this one going this way and this one coming up this way. And I'm realizing that I'd really like something kind of here. So I think I'm gonna go and print something else out there. And kind of do that next. So I'm gonna finish this part, but I think then I'm gonna go back. Oh, wow, that is just looking gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I definitely need something here. I think maybe I'll just do like one small like little bit there. And I love the color that I chose for this. It's that same color that I used for this that's got like the greens, the blues, and the purples, just like a real peacock feather. I wish that you could see, I wish that you could see the colors in this as well as you can see them in person. All right, so now I've got my I've got my little pieces that go kind of in this part of the feather, and that's what I'm going to do now. Uh oh, I'm missing one. I probably left it over there, or dropped it, or something. Oh, yep, I dropped it on the floor. So I've got these colors. This one kind of might look kind of funky there, but it's it's like a light purpley white. And then this one's like a dark purple. And then this one here is like a really dark iridescent blue. And that's gonna be like the eye of my peacock feather. Okay, so I've added here. I have my saying here. And then if you slowly turn it, I've got a couple of peacock feathers here. And then I've got this one kind of off to the side. And we're back around to the beginning again. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to epoxy this. And finish it up. Okay, so now for this one, I am going to epoxy it. I decided I didn't really need to show you how to mix epoxy. If you need to know how to mix it, you can watch um, one of my other videos where I do that. Um, I show you how to mix it really well. Actually, I think in my um, glitter swirl video, so you can go back and watch that one if you need to know how to do that properly. All right, so this is ready to go. And what I am going to do now is I am going to start epoxying this. Now you have to be really careful because like with this one, there are a lot of like really tiny pointy ends here and I don't want any of that to come up when I'm epoxying it. 
so I tend to move the epoxy in ways that kind of push those points down as much as possible. I'm just going, I don't, I don't have the epoxy on it yet, I'm just going over it really quick making sure that nothing is sticking up before I get started here. It looks pretty good. So I'm going to start putting the epoxy on. I filled each medicine cup about three quarters of the way full for this one. And now I'm just going to get started pouring a line and kind of pushing it around. And I'm pushing it over. I don't know if you can see it, but I am pushing it over the edge at the top as well. Uh oh, see, I've got one up there that I accidentally pushed up, so I have to keep an eye on that one now. And then I gotta get down here at the edge, make sure I get the bottom of it real well. I might still, yeah, that one's still coming up. I'm gonna have to keep a good eye on that one. Um, but I might still need to do another coat on this. I won't know for sure until it's until this coat's dry. That part's down now, so that's good anyway. Okay. It's looking pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I take these gloves off, be careful, and I'm going to take my heat gun, put it on medium, uh oh, it's not plugged in. my heat gun on medium. Let it get warm. It only takes a second to get warm. And now I'm going to slowly pop all of these bubbles. You want to be especially cautious of the bubbles on top of the um, on top of the vinyl. That'll be the most noticeable. And then I give it a rest for a second because you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to burn it. You don't want to get it too hot so that the epoxy comes pouring off. I'm going to get the end too. I'm going to get that. And then I'm just going to kind of look at it and watch it and see if there's any spot that needs it. I actually think it's looking pretty good right now. A little bit there. I, I was pretty careful when I mixed it to not get too many bubbles in it. So I think we're pretty good. So now I'm going to let that I'm gonna let that rotate for about an hour and then after it's rotated for about an hour, I mean I'm going to keep it rotating, but once it's been rotating for about an hour at that point then I'll um, probably put my heater on it. The heater just kind of helps it um, cure a little bit faster. I might actually, because it is evening, um, I might actually just leave this as is for the night 
and then maybe tomorrow put the heater on it um, to help it with that final cure there. Um, it just, it really depends. Um, if I'm too tired to wait up, then I won't. <laughs> All right, so this is that finished product of my chunky glitter um, that I showed you in another tutorial. People were asking me and saying that they wanted to see the finished product, so um, this is it. I, I of course, I will, you know, show you what it looks like when it's completely cured and done um, in just a moment. Uh, thanks. Don't forget, like and subscribe.